I'm gonna get high right now and Google some stuff and you're gonna watch it and hopefully learn things too, but I will forget everything I did. Welcome to Higher Learning. Today's episode is gonna be about recycling. Clink, 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 king. I read recently that it doesn't work as well as we think it does and that China is buying it and there's a crisis. Oh my God, I bought like seven. Do you remember the Chevron car commercials, the claymation ones? I wanted all of them. I think I had the cop one, which is depressing. <laughs> they're, they're doing it. They've done it. I don't make anything except trash. <laughs> When garbage pickups started in the late 19th century, many cities separated reusable trash from garbage designated for a landfill. The cities sold the reusable trash to industries, okay, and many individuals saved their organics to feed animals. I mean, you still have animals. I'm not, I'm assuming, like, you can just go get fucking pet food in a fucking another bag that has to be fucking thrown in the fucking pile of trash. Wanted for victory! wasn't practical for the whole population. People who were driving cars to bring stuff to recycling centers were polluting in a different way. Oh God, it sucks. Gotta get rid of my trash. I'll drive my car so it throws away its trash on the way to get rid of my trash and we're just fucking throwing our fucking trash everywhere. Until landfills started filling up in the 1970s. There's his fucking logo. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Producing goods that leave a small environmental footprint is extremely challenging, Losey says, and requires a complete culture shift. It's fundamentally difficult to do. It's so hard, so we're not gonna do it. Rag paper is the popular choice for wedding invitations. Full circle, full recycling, triangle circle, the rag man, folks. Uh, do you want some related content to that article about the history of recycling? How about the Bible says Jesus was real? <laughs> what other proof exists? Uh, why recy recycling isn't working in the US? Many recyclables become contaminated when items are placed in the wrong bin or when a dirty food container gets in the recycling bin. So it's my fault, not the system in place or the capitalism. It's me and the milk. In 2013, the US produced 250 million tons of garbage. I can't even, I can't even <laughs> wrap my head around how much that is. No single approach can handle all types of waste. So a hierarchy of waste management? Again, another sentence that is just, I, I did not expect to ever say those words out loud. Okay, so here's the waste hierarchy. I mean, obviously this is an Illuminati operation. Anaerobic, anaer anaerobic composting. Aerobic composting. I think we're learning again, yet again, that uh, when I pick a topic that is as general as this, it's... <laughs> It's very fucking overwhelming. So there's so many aspects to this I don't even, I don't understand. What the fuck is anaero- This sounds like people doing composting but doing aerobics, right? I mean, that's the joke. Here it is. It's super low hanging and ta -da, I, I made it, ta-da. 80s people, you know, the leg warmers, the whole bit. That's what I'm imagining. I'm assuming everyone is imagining that, right? So one's hot, one's cool. Fueled by oxygen moisture, turned weekly. You gotta, that was the part. When you, you just turn it and it's just like, the bouquet of scents that you are affronted with is, is, uh, ubiquitous. Ubiquity. 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 Modern landfill recovering and using CH4. Modern landfill recovering and flaring CH4. Yes. Methane. Methane, I would, it's bad, that's bad. <laughs> that's, uh, a carbon emission, I believe. Methane is the simplest hydrocarbon consisting of one carbon atom and four hydrogen and Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas. It's a greenhouse gas, yes. Farts, bad. Farts for, for the world, bad. Farts for our hearts, good. I don't even know what this article is about anymore. Landfills can emit carbon dioxide, methane, volatile organic compounds, and other hazardous pollutants into the air. That makes sense. It's just a huge fucking pile of fucking trash that we are trying to bury fill the land and uh it's just farting out because it's tr trash landfill gases can also move underground 
Wow, that's kind of wild. Potentially causing fires and explosions. Great. And the liquid or leachate that accumulates in landfills can contaminate groundwater. That makes sense. Because it's fucking trash. We're just putting the gross fucking trash in the ground and just expecting it'll be fine. No one go to the pile. We're going to put the pile far away from, from where you are. But people that live around the pile, you can live here because it's cheap. But watch out. You might fucking die because the ground is gross. We've got gross ground here because of the gross trash. It's kind of turning the ground into trash. And so therefore you have trash water now. Sorry about it, but uh, move. I don't know. Plants that burn waste to produce electricity were first constructed in the 1970s. It became clear that the plants were producing dangerous mercury and dioxin emissions. Standards were established that banned uncontrolled burning of waste and limited emissions of particulate matter. Right? So we're burning it, and then it was like, yo, all that trash fire sucks. <laughs> it sucks, and it's poisonous, and it sucks. Um, waste is stored in the balls. <laughs> About 20% of what is left after burning is non-hazardous bottom, bottom ash. Some of it is used for cover at landfills to reduce leachate or is landfilled. They use the trash ash. They use the trash ash. <laughs> cover at landfills. I don't know what that means. I guess they just like sprinkle it over the gar the, the burnt garbage. Sprinkle it over the real garbage. That'll make it less smelly. The burning of plastics, like polyvinyl chloride, you guys know that one. In fact, all the pollutants, even if filtered or trapped, need to be disposed of in the, in special landfills. The waste water produced by the plant is treated and then released. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so that's how they do it. They burn the shit and they go, listen, we're using the hotness from it to make other energy and it's better than piling up the fucking garbage on a, in a pile and burying it and then burning it there. China's ban. Okay. Folks, this is the China thing that I, that I kind of knew, but didn't, but don't, but really don't. For decades, China handled the recycling of almost half of the world's discarded materials because its manufacturing sector was booming and needed these materials to feed it. Okay. So that makes sense. They're making shit because they're a fucking totalitarian government and we, in order to make it we need stuff and we're like you want our trash u.s exported 16 million tons of plastic paper and metals to china in actuality 30 percent of these mixed recyclables were ultimately contaminated by non-recyclable material were never recycled and ended up polluting china's countryside and oceans an estimated 1.3 1.5 million metric tons of plastic found its way into the ocean <sighs> China's coast each year. Great. In 2018, China's national sword. Sword? They have a sword policy? Everyone gets a sword? Because that'd be cool. That's the policy I'd like. I'm a sword guy. I hate this. I think we all learned today I'm, I'm more of a Chevron Cars toy guy. In 2018, China's national sword policy banned the import of most plastics and other materials that were up to, not up to new, more stringent purity standards. U.S. then sent its plastics waste to other countries, shipping 68,000 containers to Vietnam, Malaysia, and Thailand in 2018. When these countries later instituted bans on imported plastic waste, the U.S. diverted its waste to Cambodia. <laughs> Somebody, anybody else, take our fucking trash. Cambodia, Bangladesh, Ghana, Laos, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Senegal. Countries with cheap labor and lax environmental rules. The U.S. still ships over 1 million metric tons a year of plastic waste abroad, often in countries over, already overwhelmed by it. You want our trash? We don't, We need to get rid of our trash. We actually have a lot of trash already. No, 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 no. Take our fucking trash. If you don't, we probably won't. We'll probably impose fucking trade tariffs and shit on you because you need to trade with us, right? Well, yeah, okay, great. Here's our fucking trash. Experts estimate that 20 to 70% of plastic intended for recycling overseas is unusable and is ultimately discarded. Great. One study found that the plastic waste exported to Southeast Asia resulted in contaminated water, crop death, respiratory issues due to toxic fumes, and organized crime. USA! <laughs> it's trash. It's trash and we're, we're we're trash and we're being ruined by our trash. It's so fucking poetic. <sighs> because US recycling was dependent on China for so many years, our domestic recycling infrastructure was never developed. So there was no economical or efficient way to handle recycling when the market disappeared. Guys, I'm depressed. Oh, there they are grabbing the junk. 
This is honestly the view I had when I was a child. Sorry to I'm gonna shelve the existential dread for a second and just remember the nostalgia of these guys and these men and women just fucking picking, sorting. Making the situation more complicated, the U.S. does not have federal recycling program. Kind of seems like we should, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's currently in the hands of 20,000 communities in the U.S., all of which make their own choices about whether and what to recycle. Many stakeholders with different interests converge around this topic, and we need to find common ground and goals to avoid working against one another. That means companies coming together with communities, recyclers, haulers, manufacturers, and consumers to make progress together. So we need to come together to fix it? <laughs> The best part of a laugh track is always the last two people. They're like, <laughs> that like sigh of like, oh, laughter's over. Is that what that is? Like, oh, no more laughing. Remember when we were laughing two seconds ago? <laughs> that was funny. Would love your thoughts. Please comment. We're all doomed. We're trash being killed by our trash. Maybe we should make a trash house judith i'm fucking completely with you i don't understand why we're still doing this somebody needs to make a stink about it maybe i will don gordon stink maker hi my name is jenny since the coronavirus has started lots of recycling cans have piled up i was hoping to find a solution since all recycling bins are closed down could it be possible to make one big location spread out through the nation where it'd be safe enough for people to come and recycle their cans maybe even juice bottle and laundry bottles ex ect so her solution this person who is this jennifer jennifer cumin love your spice her solution is let's make a city sized landfill where we all go to take our trash one big a state instead of a trash island let's make a trash state so right in the middle of the country maybe kansas sorry kansas we'll kick everybody out of kansas and that is the centrally located trash zone this is where we keep the trash just here thank you jennifer you solved it according to the report the u.s has invested over 4.4 billion in new and retooled facilities to recover materials these improvements include advanced technologies such as robotics okay and optical sorting to deal with the material from mixed streams that's the thing like we need like how have we not invested a lot more money to make a robot that goes poopy not poopy and then once the poopy we invent something else to make it not poopy What the fuck you mean? <laughs> and I think the best way to solve trash is to not exist on this scale. That is clearly correct. We burn it and that sucks and I hate it here. Let me out, please, God. I think I'm as ready as I can be. I'm ready, but. Oh, I'm British racing green, actually. Just to show I appreciate all. These cars are gonna fuck. I, in a car commercial that they're trying to sell these toys to kids, gas to parents, to ruin the world. They are presenting that these cars do it, that they do the, the, the nasty thing that humans do, that all animals do, cars do it too. Cars fuck hard and long, and they use their car genitalia to create life. I need to end this episode. We learned not much, I feel like. Recycling uh, is basically we melt it all down to get to its rawness and then we use that to make it again. And we're dying. We're all dying in our trash. That's what I learned today. I miss my little cars and my Intel guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been another insane time of our lives together. Again, I really appreciate uh, if you're watching. There's so many other things to do and to watch. And if you've taken a little 15 minutes ish out of your day to watch me be an idiot uh that means the world to me so thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't uh, and if you have you got a gifts basket coming to you uh surprise it's the cars from the chevron place no i don't have them anymore send me i have a p.o box i don't i don't have a p.o box i was gonna say send me your cars send them anyway see if it'll see if you can find me that's the trick for, uh find me and give me your cars toys please don't do that Please, God, don't do that. Recycle them. They're probably not recyclable. Please, again, donate to all those links. Donate to those organizations because we need to end the drug war. Just one step at a time, huh? We need to end the drug war. We need to figure out recycling. We need to figure out climate change. We need to figure out all these fucking things that I'm freaking out. Yeah, yes. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And give me the magic noise. That one worked. 
fucking Ragman. We have to end the show. End the show. It's over. Ragman is cool. We need to bring him back. Everybody, call your senators and your local, your your local councilman. We need Ragman. Bring your Ragman. Make your clothes. Make your things. That's what I learned today. So we need to make things ourselves. Even though I'm an idiot and I don't know fucking how. All I knew I had to do was make stupid shit for the internet. And it's stupid. We're all stupid. We're all fucked. See you later, everybody. Nice to have you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. The Ragman is here. He's here to take your rags. The Ragman is here, and he's gonna do take that bag. He's the Ragman, and he's here to see. He's gonna fill his bag with the rags you see, and then he's gonna leave your town fucking ragless. Yes, he's gonna leave your town, and he's gonna take all the rags. Not a good. I can't finish a song.